All righty, here we are. Another week of college basketball has ended. It is Monday. Uh, this was supposed to come out Sunday night. Just didn't happen the way I wanted it to. That's okay, though. That's perfectly fine. You know, things are the way they are for a reason. And let's talk about those Florida State Seminoles first. Like I said, they are playing their way into a number four seed after dismantling Virginia, beating Pitt on Saturday. You know, I mean, come on. Like, I was trying to watch the Florida State-Virginia game, but then it got out of hand really quickly. And I turned that off, like, not even, like, five minutes after I put it on. Because it, it was getting rough out there. Virginia couldn't do anything on offense. Florida State was just doing everything they wanted to do. Um, so what about those inconsistent teams like Missouri? Well, Missouri lost earlier in the week, and then they bounced back on Saturday. Illinois, they're probably going to be top four now instead of you know number five they're going to be number four now probably um, the Longhorns are very inconsistent I'll tell you that much the Texas Longhorns have been very inconsistent under Shaka Smart and it happened again another blown lead by the Longhorns 19 points they were up by and yeah, there was a little bit of rap ball in there, but that does not excuse what happened. A 19-point a lead decimated by West Virginia. Unbelievable. This is the kind of stuff you don't want to happen. It's, it's absolutely embarrassing for a team that, you know, that has built such a good resume so far. They've built a very good resume so far. Just absolutely embarrassing. It's unbelievable. Kansas continuing to get W's. They 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 limited Mac McClung to only eleven points, and then you know were able to get enough points. You know from David McCormack, who was dominating the who's dominating that game against Texas Tech. I mean, just dominating that game. I don't know what it was. You know, it's crazy, crazy stuff right there. And then there's teams like Tennessee, again, who are also very consistent. How do you lose to Kentucky like this? You get blown out by Kentucky. You're blown out, basically. It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. But last, but certainly not least, I think we can talk about the whole Michigan-Ohio State game. Now, I said last week, I believe I said last week, that whoever wins this game will be guaranteed a number one seed. And it just happened to be Michigan in the best game of the regular season so far. Honestly, did not expect either of these two teams you know, to have a great game like this. I mean, Michigan was shooting threes from everywhere. And Ohio State just could not stop it. And in the in the meantime, Ohio State was keeping up with Michigan, but then a couple of bad turnovers late, including one bizarre. I mean, it was a bizarre pass. It was like a no look pass, and then you know, boom, Rivers went up for Michigan, got that ball taken away. Boom, there you have it. And that was that was the game. That was it, right there. One of the best performances this season. One of the best game, the best game of the season. Not not one of the best. It was the best game of the season by far. Thankfully, 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 we've gotten something this late in the season. That was just damn good. What a damn good game it was. <clears throat> so now we wonder what in the world's going to happen this week. You know, conference championships are coming. The end of the regular season is nigh, and teams are looking to continue to get their tournament bids wrapped up. Can they do it? Can some of these teams like North Carolina, Duke, Michigan State, Indiana, uh, Oklahoma State, even though some people have said Oklahoma State's not in, you know. What about teams like Missouri, Texas, Tennessee? that need to get together. What about those types of teams? And who's playing their way 
into a number four seed. I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to continue to say it. Florida State is a number four seed. At least. At least. One of the most underrated teams in the country. You cannot, you cannot underestimate this team. And who's going to get that last number one seed? I don't know. I really don't. I think it'll be two Big Ten teams. Honestly. I, I know I said Villanova last week, but then Villanova decided to take an L at some point last week. Um, because I mean they got beat up by Creighton like a week or two ago, and now I think it'll be two Big Ten teams. It may be Illinois, it may be Ohio State that gets the other one. But Michigan has locked themselves up as a number one seed, pretty much. That 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 that's crazy stuff right there, man. But yeah, that'll do it. See you in a few hours for the week what fourteen. Yeah, week 14 preview. Yeah, see ya.